Many of those numbers in Titus County are related to the meat packing plant industry with similar outbreaks in Panola and Shelby counties. Fox 51's My Owen shows us how one local leader is frustrated at the testing process. A sudden surge in positive cases, leaving some local leaders worried and frustrated. But it's rapidly going up. We still have a significant number of outstanding tests that we have not received results from. Creating a mobile testing site at the Mount Pleasant Civic Center. Two weeks later, they're just now starting to receive some of those results. Where are you seeing this spike in cases? Until I can get those test results, I can't even answer that question. County Judge Brian Lee says it's hard to take aggressive action against the spread of COVID-19 if he doesn't know where the majority of the patients are contracting the virus pointing to the backlog of COVID-19 tests as the root of the problem. What we would like to see is some final numbers coming in a little more reg a lot more regularly and a lot quicker. I think it's pockets. I don't I don't think it's a statewide issue. It's a it's a very large task where te where we're testing uh, tens of thousands of people a, a, a day. The delay is happening across the state. Meat processing plants are also being put under the microscope. A suspected hotspot in Mount Pleasant is the Pilgrim's Pride poultry plant. Pilgrim's Pride releasing a statement saying in part, the company is closely monitoring the coronavirus situation in the communities where we live and work. And increased safety measures are being taken, including travel and visitor restrictions and enhanced sanitation efforts. Pilgrim's Pride wants to comply. They want the help of the state. They wanted to get this testing done. So after disrupting that plan for two full days last week, and then we can't even get results a week later, it makes everybody here go, what's the point? Judge Lee says every employee has been tested. Now, like the rest of the state, he waits. My Owens, Fox 51 News. Now, Judge Lee says he has visited that plant himself and he saw every employee wearing a mask. He also stated, while it's not a perfect situation, he believes the company is doing everything it can to stop the spread of the virus.